Which he did like pass out. I mean, he cried for a minute and then passed out and was asleep. So I thought maybe he'd sleep the rest of the night. And we had to put a space heater in his room the night before because his room gets so cold and he slept 11 hours, which I couldn't tell you the long. I don't know if he's ever slept 11 straight hours. That was awesome. Go get him. That's pun. Yeah, that's, I that's city limits. <laughs> He's a little cranky right now because he woke up at about 12. It was 12 like 12. Okay. It was like 12 45 when we came back in his Screaming. I almost feel like he had so much sugar and stuff that evening that he just had like a nightmare or something. Sure. I don't know, but he was like eyes closed screaming bloody murder. And like so wanted to be asleep, but he was crying. Put it. Scott went in there and tried to rock him. He not just happy. would not calm down. Guess what? Goes so to mom, chills out. I walked in there. Asleep picked him up and he did chill out but he was doing the <sighs> like he was totally upset and so I just got him to bed and I knew that wasn't gonna calm him down just putting him back in his bed so yeah that's pretty much it woke up at 4 45 ready to roll he was giggling and crawling all over me trying to get off the bed multiple times he finally passed out again until I mean, he was all over. But he slept from like six to seven. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah he passed out. We got up. My alarm went off. Yours went off way earlier than mine. I don't even know what time it was. Six or two. Oh, okay. So it wasn't that much earlier. Mine went off, and I was like, oh shoot. I fell back asleep, and I woke up, and I was like, oh shoot. We need to go to my mom's house. So I got up and showered and got ready while Chris slept. When I was a kid, we did Christmas Eve at the house, like gifts from our parents, and then Christmas Day was Santa came with a stocking and the big gift, um, or a bigger gift from Santa. So now that we all have like other families to go to, like Scott's, and then my brother has his daughter's mom's side of the family to also coordinate with, um, it works out perfect where we do Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve, I cannot even tell. We didn't sleep last night. We, we did, did not Christmas get any sleep Eve zero. of Eve with my family, and then we did Christmas Eve morning with my family, and then Christmas Eve night we typically do Scott's whole family, like grandma, all the aunts and uncles, cousins, big madhouse cousin, like, chaos, big madhouse, and then Christmas Day morning we do Mickey's. Go to our, do our house. house. Oh yeah, we do our house now that we have a kid, and then we go to Mickey's house to do their Christmas. So we each spend two different events with each family, which is perfect. But actually, Christmas Eve tonight is canceled. Yes, it is. It's working on being rescheduled. A bunch of my family is sick, which stinks. So, um, so. so we're just rescheduling. It. Really, if Grandma can't come, I think this will be like the first time in my 33 years, really? almost 34 well, years, that it's, it's never happened. Which was kind of funny. Aware. It's not funny, but like Thanksgiving, we also had multiple families out from your side being sick too. Remember? We only stayed for like an hour on Thanksgiving because Cruz was not feeling the greatest either. Yep. We are still going over to his parents' house tonight for dinner after the Chiefs game because um, his cousin Alex and Sarah that were in the vlogs previously from St. Louis drove up to spend Christmas with us. So we are going to go over there and have dinner and hang out still. It's just not going to be the whole, the whole dang family. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Happy Chrysler. Happy Chrysler. <laughs> Merry Chrysler. <laughs> Merry Chrysler. They were good.
two o'clock now. We've been home from some time. From some time. We've been home for some time. Chris is down for a nap. I look like a wreck. I'm in my bathroom because I have a massive headache. It's gotten a little better since I've been home. Brought in all the presents that my mom and dad spoil us all with. And I went and laid down and Scott built Cruz's um, gift for tomorrow while I laid down. Cruz is still sleeping and it's been about an hour and 45 minutes so I really hope he sleeps for another like at least 15, 30 minutes. I'm heating up some leftovers because I have nothing else like cooked and ready to go. This is not healthy by any means. But I think I need something in my system. We had like cinnamon rolls and sausage and eggs and hash browns over at my parents' house. I just don't think it's enough for it to be two o'clock and for me to still feel like this. So I'm gonna eat something and I'm going to put together a fruit tray to take over to town and beach. While this is heating up, I'll just have a chit chat. We had the best time at my parents' house. Charlotte and my brother and my parents were all over there. Cruz was kind of cranky at the beginning, but he warmed up and he just had the time of his life. He ate so much strawberries and so many pieces of sausage. And he had so much fun. My parents literally spoiled him so hard. Like I have so many toys I have to set up and figure out where they go, which is not my favorite thing, but I know, know that he loves every single one of them. It's kind of funny. My brother got him a like WrestleMania um, it's like a stuffed animal, uh, not an animal, like a stuffed person and you're supposed to like be able to tackle it and you punch it and it makes like noises when you punch it. Cruz was terrified of it. I pulled it out of the box and like nothing really makes him flinch so I kind of like jumped at him with it and of course, sorry my mom's texting me, and of course he flinched and he panicked, like did the whole eyes shudder and like full on panic. I think that Charlotte might be Cruz's favorite person ever because they're like complete giggle boxes when they're together. They were so cute. But we had a great time and now we're gonna go over to Tom and Vicky's tonight to have dinner. And his cousin Sarah and Alex are over there. So we'll probably be home early, I would assume. I would like to be home for Cruz to go to bed at least by eight o'clock and like lay out the cookies and have that all ready to go. So then we can kind of wind down, maybe watch a Christmas movie in hopes that Cruz sleeps throughout the night. So that's kind of what we're doing. I'm gonna make a fruit tray. Scott's working out real quick. My camera died two seconds being at my mom's house. I even told myself, bring the battery, bring the extra battery, and I completely forgot it. So the clips you're seeing before this are on my iPhone, and it's just the best I can do.
just have to open your eyes. Ready? <laughs> One, two, three, open. <laughs> Okay, now Santa needs your eating Santa's cookies. <laughs> Eat for Santa, buddy. <laughs> You're eating Santa's cookies. <laughs> We're gonna give Santa some milk, okay? Does he drink all of that? Santa does. Oh. Doesn't he? I, I, yeah, he sure does, yeah.
cleans all the set and puts it all away. Scott, are you gonna do it? Yeah, probably. <laughs> no, you're not. Some of it, I Ready, set, go! Oh my goodness! Can you do it again? Yeah. <gasps> wow! It's 10 o'clock on Monday after Christmas. Everybody's asleep except for us. We've had a lazy, productive Monday. Yeah, we didn't really start the day till like 2 o'clock, but after that, they've got productive. We got a bunch of stuff done. So. Yeah, but I just didn't vlog today. It was kind of. um over it anyways i'm about to go to bed but i figured we'd wrap up the vlog of the holiday just it's a good christmas cruz was like he's at an age now where it's fun and he wants to open gifts and he has like facial expressions and excited about a gift yeah he wants to play and knows what to do christmas so. is just like cooler when you have a kid yeah, they just get better they just get better but yeah. it's pretty cool my house is full of all sorts of toys, but I did Christmas Day put all the toys away. We unwrapped everything, yeah. we built everything. Today we built a trampoline, and that was the last thing to build. All those toys are out. This tree looks like it looks like there's <laughs> it has no a tree million there, lights yeah. on it. We have the lights on because this is the last, maybe tomorrow evening, this will be the last of the Christmas decor. Scott's back to work tomorrow. I'm off until. The new year third second whatever that third. tuesday is i think it's the third so cruz and i are just gonna have a day tomorrow probably pick up a new vlog tomorrow so we're just wrapping up christmas 2022 <laughs>